Okay, so now we start our second section where we will go to the physics. So we've dealt with the parameters, the variables and the geometry and the material. So we move to lumped battery and we will select the domain. The domain will be the active battery material. Also the applied currents will be changed to this and also the battery cell capacity as well. Change to this. The initial cell state of charge to change. Initial amplitude will change. So we maintained in here. Then we move to, okay. Okay. Our uh, steel will be the battery can. Yeah, it's the battery can. Just to make sure. Okay, so go to the cell living potential. And declare this section and reload from file. Sorry, reload this. This is the and also when you come to the temperature derivative. So we have it in here. And you can go to the voltage process to also I want it to be temperature. I want this to be set to the omic one C. I want it to include activation potential or what is to be set to Let's see. go to the concentration over potential and include this. I want to make the diffusion time now. All right. So over here we want to add you can add a continuity in there. All the boundaries. And move to the heat transfer. Okay, move to the heat transfer and okay, heat transfer. These are defined temperature should be no. Okay, this is okay in here. This is all right. What about the solid? So that we're going to duplicate, make I'm going to duplicate the solid. I'm going to have three of this one, two, and three. Okay, so Before that, let's do it step by step. So the first one, have the first one, material in here. And 
the initial values to set to one to three. We want the temperature to change to three initial. Add an axis symmetry. Okay, so yeah, we for all boundaries. And the thermal insulation will also be for all boundaries. And want to add and that's solid. Which will be for the, the second solid will be for the active battery and thermal conductivity will be user defined. So we want this to be diagonal. So we want the property to be K T the battery. Uh, they will also be same, almost same, just same. as we have in here. They will be user defined. And here will be also user defined. CT battery density will be density the battery. Then we add second solid, and that will be the man drill. So so defined. Now we are super This and we want the density to be to be defined. We want the heat capacity also be defined and we had a heat flux which will be manually inputted heat flux will be at two seven and four So we'll have our heat flux. And we want a convective heat flux. Just in the cool, let's use the heat transfer coefficient of 20. External temperature should be defined. In here, so that is it for solid three, which is the mandrel. It's also defined the active battery material. So we've selected the thermal conductivity for it. Find the density, heat capacity, and also 
So the same way our thermal insulation will be. And our first solid will be. So we have three solids in the heat transfer. Solid one, solid two, solid three. Okay, so you can go ahead to mesh, but before that, we look at the this side is not selected, that's our continuity. Let me take this out and Continuity. Okay. Okay, we'll take it out. We'll take it out. We'll take this part out. So if we want to check if we've actually made all the necessary changes for the two different physics section. So that we can go ahead and start meshing. Use a user controlled mesh and we'll predefine the period section. So, this is going to be general free triangle to we'll lead the free triangle and add a mapped. So add a mapped instead. Let's uncheck this side, and for the size, it should be normal. Okay, so it sets what we have to do for to mesh our work. Let's build our mesh. Okay, build our mesh. So the next stage is to is to move to the steady. Uh, before then, we'll add a waveform. We'll add a waveform. Be a square type. And the frequency should be to. By cycle let's go time. Let's 
So this is what we should have then. Go to our steady. So for the steady, since we are dealing with time dependent steady, I'm going to change the times to zero to one zero zero, and I'm going to make a user controlled relative tolerance should be this bar three. Have this physics sets. It's also our solving should be this. Okay. So we can now go ahead to compute our work and see the results. So as you can see, getting values for initial mean and average temperature. Okay, so now we have our results. So this is the graph of the cell potential versus time the load, cell potential and load versus time. And the state of charge also. See this, the cell state of charge and the cell's current for this time period. And go to the 3D. We have the 3D sort group for the, the temperature, surface temperature. We have the isothermal contours, temperature versus time graph. This is the temperature versus time graph for the mean, max, and minimum temperatures. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this section. If there are any questions, kindly drop them in the comment section and I'll do what to attend to it. So thank you.